If you're willing to take a knee for 8 minutes and 26 seconds, I want y'all to sit with that uncomfortability. It was only 20, 30 years ago that a Yale student by the name of Mr. Prince was murdered. Petty robbery, high crimes at a time New Haven was known as Pistol Wave in New Haven. And then Yale decided to buy up property and to create a plan to make sure people that look like me can't be in community with y'all. We were raised to believe that we need the police to keep us safe. We keep us safe. We keep us safe, yes. police. They are not doing anything for us. The YPD has a really long history of targeting and antagonizing black and brown students, workers, and residents of New Haven. In 2015, Taj Blow, an unarmed black undergraduate student, was held at gunpoint by the YPD. In 2018, a black female graduate student was harassed by Yale police in her own dorm. And in 2019, YPD officer Terrence Pollack and Hamden police officer Devin Eaton shot Stephanie Washington and Paul Witherspoon, who were doing nothing, sitting in their car on a date. We need to be able to believe that this world without police is possible in order to work for it. Um, and I really do believe that it is, that we can take care of each other. It, sometimes living here feels like a, a giant that's looming over the city and these communities. Um, but they need to be held accountable to this community. I think marching out in the streets, especially uh, going through campus, um, was pretty powerful because um, when you usually have uh, demonstrations and protests and marches, um, seldom are you really going into the communities that, you know, implicitly or explicitly are playing a role in the oppression. For healthcare, not for police! Money 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 for healthcare!